part two of the great saga of the wind and the clouds and the trees in Colorado. And I just thought I'd mention, I was just over at Walmart before I came here to this beautiful countryside. And when I was in Walmart, you know, I'm, I'm Claire audience. And I was picking up, I pick up like the semi-subconscious vibe of a lot of people, places where I go. Isn't this beautiful? And the clouds are really beautiful too. Um, so anyway, I was in Walmart and I got the, the Walmart-itis, Claire Audience Walmart-itis once again when I was there. The whole time I was there, I was hearing uh, just uh, emotion-laden, despair-filled thoughts, throngs of people. It was gruesome. I don't know if it's just Walmart or if it's the fact that they're large stores and they have a lot of electrical wires in the walls and the fluorescent lighting and all. I just don't know what it is. So, uh, you know, our body of light is the tool that works on our body of light is, is sound. And so certain types of sound, like music and store sounds and that kind of thing, they can, they can really wreak havoc on our body of light. So um, after I was in there, having that gruesome experience of mass agony, not mine. I mean, I was doing pretty good, but something wasn't, I'll tell you. So I came out here to the country, and I'll be darned if within a half an hour everything wasn't just magically set right. There's something about the dirt and the sky and the clouds and the wind and the trees. It just does it. That's all I have to say. Talk to you later before the car comes by. Love you a lot. It's Alice.